I think by mid-century, perhaps every single organ of the body can be grown except the brain. And even with the brain, perhaps we'll be able to inject brain tissue directly into the brain to help to alleviate the symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So the human body shop is coming sooner than you think. In fact, this process has already started. At the Institute of Regenerative Medicine at Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center, researchers were the first in the world to implant laboratory-grown organs into humans and are currently working to grow more than 22 different organs and tissues, including the bladder, lung, liver, heart, and pancreas. This is going to change the way we view our body. Why do we have to die from organ failure? Why do we have to die after a car crash when our organs are injured? In the future, we'll be able to grow one in the laboratory. Professor Michio Kaku is no stranger to making predictions. He's a world-renowned theoretical physicist and futurist who explores the science of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Medicine has gone through three basic stages. In the first stage, we had superstition and magic. Life expectancy was only 20 to 30 years. Then, 100 years ago, with sanitation, with vaccines and antibiotics, lifespan exploded to the mid-70s. Now we're entering the third stage, genomic medicine. What that means is, in the future, we'll all have an owner's manual for our bodies. When you go to the doctor's office, there'll be a little box on his desk called a genolyzer. You put some saliva, some blood into the box, and out spits out a CD-ROM with every single gene in your body. This CD-ROM, with all your 30,000 genes on it, will tell you what you should be doing in terms of health and preventive medicine. Watch out, maybe diabetes. Watch out, maybe high cholesterol and heart disease lurks in your family tree. So what about one of the biggest killers of all, cancer? Professor Kaku says, Genomic medicine will also allow doctors to spot the disease long before it ever shows up in the body. Cancer is no longer a mystery. We can't cure it yet, but we know that cancer is caused by genetic mutations, four, five, or more genetic mutations. In the future, we'll be able to spot this with sensors in our bathroom. When you go to the toilet, when you breathe on the, the mirror, you'll be able to analyze using what are called DNA chips cells that have cancer genes in them. This means that the word tumor could disappear from the English language because we'll know perhaps 10 years ahead of time whether or not a cancer colony is growing in your body years before it becomes a tumor. How about all that waiting around just to see your doctor? In the future, you'll go to the wall screen and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. I want to talk to my doctor now. Immediately, a holographic image will emerge and perhaps it'll be a software program that can answer 98% of all common problems. By the year 2060, we will no longer be a slave to fashion. Instead, fashion will be a slave to us, with clothing acting as our first line of defense in an emergency situation. Your clothes will monitor your heartbeat, recognize an emergency, upload your entire medical history onto the web, alert the ambulances, locate your body by GPS, and alert all the authorities about your situation even before they arrive. But with all this technology comes controversy, like designer babies. Scientists have already figured out how to create designer animals that are smarter and stronger. But what does this mean for humans? Some people fear that maybe we'll have the genetic rich and the genetic poor. The genetic rich will be beautiful, they'll be outgoing, uh, they'll have perfect bodies and long lifespans, and then we'll have the genetic poor. While Professor Kaku admits there are issues with this explosion of technology, including invasion of privacy, in the end, he says, advancements in medicine will make us better, make us healthier, and make us live longer. So there are hazards that we have to negotiate, but I think the benefits far outweigh the negatives.